Hi, welcome to a video of my flea market finds for Saturday, October 8th, 2022. Uh, a few, few fun purchases. Uh, at one table, the guy had a little piece of the buck, nothing for me, and some 45s, small records, at uh, four for a dollar. Very reasonable price. Got some. Uh, so at that price, I started taking stuff I normally wouldn't have taken. The Discomedianaire is a label by a guy who bought a lot of French Canadian recordings of the 60s. His name is Denis Espentis. And um, these 45s had the merit of being like straight tape to, to vinyl uh, copies, transfers of the uh, these recordings. So these, in some cases, are the best source for these songs. So sometimes, even if I have the originals, these sound better. Comme un garçon de Chantal Renault, Ziwataneo, de l'autre côté. Ici j'ai Docteur de Nanette Workman, euh, Ils m'ont tous quitté. Ils m'ont tous quitté et il est disponible seulement que sur ce 45 tours, donc c'est bon d'avoir des copies d'Esper. Docteur est, est, est sur quelques compilations. Et you can find Docteur on some compilations, but this side is only available on this 45, so. I, a spare copy cannot be excessive. Plenty, uh, this is the A side. Belfast by Bonnie M, a UK person with this ridiculously small hole. I hate these small records. That's why when I went to Australia in 2004, I didn't bother going through their 45s. Ah, yeah, couldn't stand it. Anyway, Belfast by Bonnie M, Plantation Boy. Then I realized it's on Love for Sale, which I already have the album. Anyway. This looked interesting, didn't have time to check the song properly. Uh, the English Congregation, Softly Whispering I Love You. And this side is When Susie Takes the Plane. I think this is a, I don't know, it's a Canadian person. Uh, my favorite pianist, Errol Garner, Lullaby of Birdland, and Easy to Love. It's like a, old, a very old 45 from 1956. Yeah, scratch. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Oof. This I bought by mistake. I thought it was something else. Anyway, it's a long, long, long story. Not interesting enough. Disco Twist by Stainless. And more Disco Twist. I I had this. I have this in a pile of freebies I got a few years ago. And it was all scratched up. This one was clean. But I thought this was one that needed to be replaced because it was worth it. No, it's not. It's, it's not that good. Anyway, and then uh, d I decided to, since I sometimes have a hard time remembering which of these record readers are in good condition in my collection and which need an upgrade, since uh, since they were cheap, decided to take everything that was in, in nice shape. So, yeah, collect these. Uh, the French ones. No, I don't collect the Americans or the English ones. Uh, French language ones. So, yeah, Naventure de Zorro, 30022. No coloring. Not the not the the issue I'm looking for. Looking for the yellow ones of the early 70s, with 33 and one third written here. Uh, Yawata le petit Indien. Is it politically correct? No, I don't know anymore. 33022. Recent pressing, no coloring at the end. La belle histoire de la princesse Nada, 34622. Ah, somebody wrote, oh, I think that's pencil, I can erase that. Mickey le brave petit tailleur, 34422. No coloring, again the ugly green label. And I got this. Livre disque Philips, Fable de la Fontaine, numéro 1. Um, EP45 with uh, the Fable de la Fontaine record is in pretty good shape for a, a, a children's record. It's a Canadian pressing. I'm not sure if the book is pr is printed in France though. Looks like it. I don't think it's. Yeah. Anyway, I got it because of the stork. I love stork. There's a stork. And then, a nice the stork. The stork, stork. And so that's 11 records. However, and this is rare, I didn't do it on purpose, I didn't try to, to rob the, the nice man. I counted 10 records. I don't know where my brain was. 
I showed him the ten records and said, okay, how much? And he said, oh, from two bucks. So I, I paid two bucks for these eleven records. So I didn't mean to steal one. It's just, yeah. Next purchase, a, a nice young man was selling DVDs and CDs. He had two vinyl records, like five bucks each, totally overpriced. But everything else was reasonable. The DVDs were two bucks. And the CDs were a buck, so I couldn't leave Revolver by the Beatles, even if I didn't need it. I already have it. I, my hand couldn't leave it there. So get it. Don't leave it there. I can't. I can't. I know I always leave good stuff for others to pick later, but I just I can't leave Revolver by the Beatles for a buck on the table. I, it might be a gift for a friend one day. I don't know. I got this one. The Bowie, David Bowie, the singles collection. However, I'm a little bit disappointed. I haven't played it yet, but I just looked closer at the the notes, and I was pissed off to see that these are not single versions. Like, if I look, at, for instance, at uh, Young Americans, five minutes and ten seconds. I don't think so. I don't think the 45 is five minutes ten ten seconds. Damn it. So. I, I was hoping and and six minute and four for diamond dogs that's not a, that's not a 45 uh, version at all I, I was expecting these to be 45s you know singles uh, absolute beginners I think is a, a yeah five minutes 46 because on the LP it's longer than that I have the album of the soundtrack of the movie um, anyway what am I complaining about we have 37 songs on two CDs. I got it for a price of one one dollar for all these this Bowie material. So this I already have. I bought like years ago. A friend, a next friend, turned introduced me to Prozac. I got their their two albums. But this one, like you can see, has a one of these uh, moving images on the cover. So ah, I can't leave it there. So I got it because I don't my 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 copy I have doesn't have that. Okay, that's enough of that. So yeah, so I got the, for the DVDs. Follow that bird. I'm a, I'm a big uh, uh, Jim Henson slash uh, uh, Frank Oz slash Carol Spinney fan, and I don't know. At one point I started collecting not for a very short time in my adulthood. I started collecting Big Bird stuff. I got the Big Bird. Uh, LP exercise LP off eBay early 2000s got the uh, soundtrack vinyl record and I rented the movie I think or copied I don't remember I saw the movie some very sad parts oh my god when he's painted in blue I don't want to ruin it but I got this it, it, of course you'll expect some scuffs on it but it's not deeply scratched I got it because there's a, an interview with Cal Spinney who performs Big Bird I was sold as soon as I saw that and Big Bang Theory, uh, complete first season. You had the first and the third. I left the third behind. I won't buy it until I get the second one. Because I don't need this. I, I think I've seen them all. I'm not sure. Plus two bucks for three DVDs. Very clean. Seven bucks for the lot. The next purchase was uh, from a, a guy who, uh, who always has some odd stuff and interesting stuff. I bought stuff from him in the past. Boom. <coughs> Got this for a friend who loves Tony the Tiger. So it's a uh, Tony the Tiger uh, toque with a matching scarf and made in Canada by what's the brand? Uh, Makessa Fashions Inc. Anyway, we will see the the label better on in the toque. This this one is weirdly attached. Uh, hang out. We'll just take a second. There we go. Let's get it closer to the light source. There we go. Well, it's probably all blurry, but it's Mar Mud Mar Marquesa Fashions Inc. Acrylic, made in Canada. Judging by the color of the logo, it, maybe it's from the 70s, early 80s. <laughs> and then finally, no later than last week, while I was moving stuff around, I got access to some comic books that I couldn't uh, have access, and I, I started browsing the books and everything. I collect, among other things, uh, Gaston Lagarde books. 
and uh, I knew I had number 9 and 12 to replace which I have done in the past years even the more, more, <laughs> more, more than once number 9 I don't know how many times I bought it uh, but I forgot that I needed number 7 because my number 7 that I had bought in May let me see in pencil I wrote here uh, 30th of May 1998 I bought it for a dollar number 7 I forgot uh, to replace this one. It wasn't in my radar because on pages 14 and 15 some kid dropped some something disgusting, very sticky and maybe was eating a, a ice cream cone or I don't know. It spilled over the course of all these pages. So of course I and so, so I hesitated because I uh, I know I, I when I found this one the guy had pretty much all of them but they were like six bucks or he was willing to let me have it for five normally I don't pay five bucks for these comic books uh, whether it be Asterix, uh, Ting Ting, Gaston, Lagarde, Boulé Bill, uh, etc etc uh, but this is the last one I was I needed to replace now I have all the Gaston Lagarde books I don't need it anymore I just completed my collection. Uh, I splurged five bucks. The only thing wrong is that it's, it's been piled up horizontally, and the uh, you see it's not parallel. Well, you probably don't see, but it's not aligned properly. But big deal. I have some things thing that are like that as well. Very important to keep them vertical and not horizontal piled up. But uh, I hesitated because the back is different. This might be the original, and this might this might be from later. But I check, and I have at least another book with the same backing, so I'm okay. It's okay though if I don't have the same exact book, so uh, I will be able to get rid of that one. And now I have all the guests on I got for five bucks. Yeah, okay, but it's you know I, I'm ready to splurge when it completes my collection. Same thing for my missing Elvis 78. Well. I have six left that I need out of the 27 and uh, I wasn't waiting going to pay $72 on eBay to get uh, the best of the six missing ones which is I got a woman uh, I, I it seemed to be clean I said well if it were the last one missing in my collection I would have spared 72 bucks and when you reach the very end of the yard the, the end the finish line and and then it now it's time to to splurge you know so I, I Splurge. You know what is five bucks in 2022, right? Well, you have to be careful how to think uh, about these purchases because in a, when you collect a lot of things, it piles up pretty fast. So these were my purchases. So thank you for watching.